Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video has been so highly requested since I've had my son Jackson. Essentially, I wanted to make a video of how I did not know I was pregnant with him. And I know that sounds like that TV show that we've all seen on TLC, but for me, it was real life. We found out we were pregnant with Jackson when I was 26 weeks and four days along. So yes, I was in my third trimester and most people who are in their third trimester are so ready to get that baby out. And for me, that was my learning process on how to become a mother. So to get started, basically back in 2016, um, I started feeling like my stomach was getting bigger. I was definitely gaining weight, but that was not any indication to me. I did recently switch jobs around this time, so I went from working in a restaurant, which was a very busy, busy job, I was on my feet for 14 hours a day, to going to an office job, which was kind of like a 9 to 5, and I thought that the weight was just coming from that switch. In March of 2016, I took two pregnancy tests because the weight just started to seem to form only in my belly, and I thought that that was really weird. But of course, I took two and they were both negative. I didn't think anything of it, I didn't think to go to a doctor to get it double checked. So then when April came around, the weight was still there. I was on a couple of different diets and nothing was working for me. So then when April came, I took another two pregnancy tests and again, both negative. Moving forward in May, there was a day where we went out to the sandbar on my cousin's boat and everyone was telling me how my stomach looked really pregnant when I came down to a bikini. And I was like, okay, like I took pregnancy tests. It doesn't make any sense that everyone's telling me this. Kind of hurting my feelings because you're obviously telling me that I look fat. But to my knowledge, I was not pregnant. So I just told everyone, no, it's just my belly. I've been really bloated lately. And I was on some weird cleanse at the time on to get rid of my bloating. But then it just stuck with me that everyone was saying, your belly looks so pregnant. I started to get that black line down my belly that same weekend. So I made the first appointment that week for an OBGYN. Now I didn't have one because I'm not a person who goes to the doctor regularly and I know that's a bad thing but I'm just one of those. And I just found someone on Google, so I went to her before work and she was like assessing my stomach telling me, hey your stomach feels really hard, um, why don't you stop being so tense so I can just figure out what's going on with you. And really this appointment was because I don't get my period first of all so I thought that this appointment would be something to kind of start my period or put me on some kind of medication that would induce my period because I have had less than 10 periods in my entire life. But when she was assessing my stomach telling me to stop being so tense and I was like no that's just how my stomach is lately. In the daytime it's mostly hard, in the afternoon it'll be back to normal and then at bedtime again it'll be hard and then she was like okay that's really weird and she wanted to do an ultrasound so she made me wait in a different room she took 45 minutes to come back to the room which absolutely killed me because I just wanted to know what was going on I also needed to get to work and I had just a few other things on my mind and after this 45 minutes the second she turns on the ultrasound machine she's like well that's a head and literally my reaction back to her was a head of what? Because I truly did not believe that I was pregnant. I didn't think that I could ever be pregnant. I've been told by a few doctors that it would be very hard for me to naturally conceive a child from the way that my body just is sterile in a way. But she's like, that's your baby. And ever since that moment, that was May 15th, 2016, it just changed my life forever. And then uh, the more shocking news came after that. It was when she told me that I was 26 weeks and four days pregnant. So really six and a half months along. And that just blew my mind. I just, I couldn't believe that I had a baby growing inside of me. I didn't even know about it. And it was so far along as well. And so I just had to swallow the news that I was going to be a mom in three months. And also since we were so far along, uh, she told me the gender and everything, of course it was a boy, and I was just so anxious to call Sean because he had been telling me for a while that my belly looked pregnant, I looked like I was having a baby, but I just, I was going by the negative test. To me that, since they were negative, there was no baby. 
and I know that was very ignorant of me, but moving forward, uh, the first thing I did as soon as the doctor left the room was call Sean on FaceTime. Because of course, we just thought this was a regular appointment. We weren't expecting any kind of shocking news from it, being that we have taken so many pregnancy tests already and they were all negative. Um, so as soon as I called him on FaceTime, he was at work and he was like, hey, so how'd your doctor's appointment go? And I was like, oh, it was really good. And he's like, so? And I was like, well, you're gonna be a dad. And he actually thought that I was joking with him for a second. So he had to go outside of his office and we repeat the whole situation to him about how we were six months pregnant and that it was gonna be a boy. And I hope that I never forget the smile on his face. And I'm so glad that I did call him on FaceTime just so I could see it as opposed to a normal phone call. But it was just the sweetest thing to see his reaction. Sean had always wanted to be a dad and we were already so in love and we knew that our relationship would work with the baby and he always wanted a boy first so to make all of his dreams come true in one little phone call was pretty magical for me uh, but leaving this appointment I was just mind blown I didn't know what to do with myself I honestly was already late for work so I called my boss told her the news which she was pretty shocked as well uh, so I actually drove to Sean's job instead of my job just because I wanted to hug him I wanted to embrace this moment and live in this moment because I just thought this was the greatest news that I've ever been told in my life that someone who thought that I would never have a baby of my own that it just happened and he's here and he's in my belly and he'll be here soon so as soon as I went to his job of course we hugged and everything but I was only there for maybe like five minutes and then I returned to my job to tell them how far along pregnant I was and that I would be on maternity leave as soon as I could be. Just because we had nothing in the works. So in the next three months, Sean and I worked so hard every single day just saving money. Um, we ended up buying a house and it was just crazy. Everything that led up to this moment and to having Jackson in August was a complete blessing. I still can't believe that we pulled all of that off. I feel like we pulled off more in those three months than most people are capable of doing in nine months of having their full pregnancy. But I just, I wouldn't change anything for the world, honestly. I thought it was such a great experience. I loved every minute of those three months that I knew I was pregnant. To me, it was just so magical. The question that I get the most from this story is most people say, didn't you just notice from your belly? And like I said, no, I honestly thought that I was bloated and I thought that the extra weight was from my job change. And that was all. I never once felt him kick. I never felt a flutter, nothing like that. That was my first pregnancy, so maybe I missed a few things. I definitely missed the first few really important pregnancy tests, which now that we're pregnant again, I'm finally going through the entire process because we found out this time at four weeks pregnant. So it's completely different. There's so many more doctor's appointments, so many more tests. Everything was just so rushed with Jackson. Another question that I get asked a lot is, were you drinking while you were pregnant? So Jackson was conceived in December of 2015. After that, um, obviously we celebrate Christmas, New Year's. We celebrated my birthday, Sean's birthday. And although I'm not a heavy drinker whatsoever, I did have a few drinks, but I do mostly drink red wine. So I can't say that alcohol would have had affected him at any point, nor did I feel like it would have, because I'm really not a heavy drinker. I'm not into drinking and I don't smoke at all. So I wasn't afraid of that. However, we were afraid of his health and the fact that I had no prenatal care for six months. I do eat very healthy, and I wish I still ate the way that I did back then. But I was in very good shape back then. Um, before I got pregnant with Jackson, I was weighing 105 pounds, I think. Which was like the skinniest I've ever been. I don't think I'll ever get back to that weight, honestly. It was a goal of mine, but I just don't see that happening. From conception to finding out we were pregnant at 26 weeks, I only gained 10 pounds. So to me, that wasn't a significant number. So that wasn't anything alarming either. Right now we're five months pregnant and I've already gained seven pounds, so it seems to be on the same track as Jackson. But yeah, one thing that really scared me with him was that in all of his ultrasounds, they never saw his left leg at every position. I guess he was just so large that you just couldn't see anything past 
the way that he was laying down, but it really concerned me. Um, the day Jackson was born, he was 100% healthy. To this day, there is absolutely nothing wrong with him. He is just the perfect little blessing that I've ever seen. He's just an angel on earth, that's all I call him. He was born at five pounds, which is small, He and he was also born full term, so I know five pounds is typically a premature weight, but he was full term, born right at 39 weeks, and he's just so perfect. Another question that I get asked all the time is why were your pregnancy tests negative? So of course I wanted to know the answer to this too. So I went and looked it up. Apparently if you're too far along in your pregnancy, your HCG levels are way too high, which reads as a false negative as your pregnancy test. So the cutoff date is typically around three months for most women to take pregnancy tests, the at-home ones of course. And I took mine in March and April. So in retrospect, I would have been four and five months pregnant. So of course I was getting those false negatives, which led me to believe that there was no baby. And of course this was nothing that we would have known beforehand. Most people don't know that, especially when I tell my story and I tell them that answer, they kind of spread the news to other people who are taking pregnancy tests just to be on the safe side. And my number one question from my entire story is how didn't you know you were pregnant from your missed periods? So like I said, I've only had my period less than 10 times in my life. So I never thought that a fertilized egg would ever just sit there for as long as I needed it to to have a baby. Um, this isn't something that I should have been checking with with my doctor. I've been on some kind of healthy regimen or medication to get it going, but it was always on my to-do list. Um, I've always been a person to have multiple jobs, so it was just always hard to take that time for myself. And I know that's something that I still slack on and I wish I was better at. But no, my missed periods were just another day of my life that I never thought about. I get a lot of reactions that people thought that I was hiding my pregnancy or that I just made up this whole story just to cover up something else. And I just think all of that is complete nonsense. I wish I knew about Jackson sooner just to prepare and just to have that full experience and excitement, but this is our story. This is how I got pregnant with Jackson. After telling people about my story, I have met a few people who also didn't know they were pregnant. I've even met a few that were going into labor as they found out they were pregnant, and that terrifies me, so I'm so thankful that at least we had those three months to get ready and to buy a house and to do everything else we needed to do. But. It's just crazy to me that people would think that I would hide my own pregnancy and make up this whole story about how I didn't know I was pregnant. I truly did not know and for me it's really more than a show on TLC. And I do have to say as a follow up, since I had Jackson I've only had two periods and he's two years old now. I was breastfeeding for a while and they do say that when you're breastfeeding you typically don't get your period so I was putting it to that. I stopped breastfeeding Jackson when he was 15 months old so that took a lot of time out of me worrying about getting another period because of course we want more children and the weirdest thing is one of those two periods that I've had since I've had Jackson was uh, June of last year and our pregnancy right now I conceived in August which is like my I just can't explain how my body works but really there was an egg released in June and it wasn't fertilized until August. So I call her my little miracle child as well. I just think both of my pregnancies have been a complete blessing and if there's anyone out there struggling with conception or anything else like that, please reach out because there is hope. Miracles happen every day and both of my children will be examples of that. But that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little story time break. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And then please, please don't forget to subscribe. It just means so much to me. And I can't wait to see you guys again next week. Bye.